Good evening. Good evening. Great to see this gathering here tonight. How many people in here are under 25? It seems like I met a lot of young people here. It's great. Good job, you guys, getting engaged. Um, it was 30 years ago. My name is Aaron Hind. I am the co-founder of Life Aid Beverage Company. In 2011, uh, two local entrepreneurs, um, really driven by two things, uh, equal parts passion and ignorance, decided we were going to take on the big beverage conglomerates that, let's face it, had gotten a free pass for way too long selling sugar water to our kids. And we started Life Aid Beverage. We put in $30,000 a piece and decided uh, to go for it. And uh, that night, that aha moment, we thought, okay, we're going to come up with clean nutritional products for active lifestyles. We're going to get all the kids off all this garbage uh, energy drinks and quote unquote sports drinks. We started registering domain names. We registered 70 domain names in one evening in January of 2011. We got GolfRate, uh, obviously these are some of our domains. We got GolfRate.com for $12. Heck, we even got Bonerate.com for $12. So <laughs> whoever said all the good .coms were taken was totally inaccurate. <laughs> You know, after we had all those domains, the next step is like, okay, we got to actually put this drink together. So, you know, we had to gather all the components to the drink, one of which is the can. You can see our beautiful sleek cans back there at our table. That's a very particular can. So when we went to source that can, we ran across a company called Rexum. Rexum's a huge, huge can manufacturer. And just to give you a little background, my particular industry has a 95% failure rate within year one. Within year five, it has a 99% failure rate. Thank God we're in year six. Um, <laughs> but we called the local rep. His name's Mike. Mike, how's it going? Yeah, we want to start a beverage company. Mike already knowing, dealing with a bunch of broke kids, right? And he's like, okay, what's your experience? Oh, we have none. You know, what's your bankroll look like? Oh, I'm very light. And he said, well, the minimum on these cans is 202,000 cans for one run. And that was more money than we had in our bank account. And uh, so he's trying to brush us off pretty quick and we say, uh, well Mike, we heard there's something called silver bullets. Now silver bullets are these blank cans or a, a can that doesn't have any printing on them. And he said, yeah, those do exist, but they're really not available. You know, silver bullets, uh, everything's made to order. So this is kind of a specialty thing, you know, kind of saying, get out of here, you kids. You don't know what you're talking about. And uh, so we hung up the phone. And we had a decision to make. We were like, okay, we either fold up shop right now or we get creative. So of course we decided to get creative. And uh, we got a nice thank you card, beautiful handwritten note, my best handwriting. Mike, thanks you, thank you so much for taking our call today. We really appreciate all your time and effort. And we put a $100 Roos Chris gift certificate in there and sent it off. We were sitting, we both had our day jobs at the time. A few days go by, a week goes by. About right day eight, we get a phone call from Mike that lo and behold, a pallet of silver bullets uh, were available. And that was the beginning of Life Aid. And that was also our first most valuable lesson in business. The, the power of reciprocity, okay? But if you fast forward six years, we're now 54 team members strong right here in Santa Cruz. We made the Inc. 500 last year. We'll make the Inc. 100 this year. We're sold in 20 countries. We've just rolled out in Whole Foods and Sprouts nationwide. And we've got, been fortunate enough to get a lot of traction. And I think you know, there's been a lot of um, things that we've learned along the way. And I want to share a couple of those with you this evening. The first one that is uh, very true to our core, I think it really permeates everything that we do at Life Aid is always play the long game. Probably the best example of this is after we purchased our one pallet of silver bullets, we said, oh crap, now we gotta put something in them. So we got these formulations and we wanted to you know, keep all the garbage out of there, no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, keep the, the, uh, the formula very efficacious, low sugar. And so we went down and we contracted a, a beverage scientist down in Southern California. We showed up at the lab, we put on the white coat, the hair nut, the whole deal. Showed up, handed her the piece of paper and said, this is what we wanna make. She looked at it and said, uh, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to double the sugar and half the supplements or else it's not gonna taste, taste right. 
We said, okay, well, that's not an option. We'll go find somewhere else. And we literally started to walk towards the door. And she said, wait, 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 let's see if we can make this work. Brought us back in and kind of the rest is history. We were able to you know, produce uh, very clean products that, that actually taste great. This also permeates our corporate culture. You know, every uh, team member at LifeAid is an equity owner. They all have 401ks, they all have paid medical. We have a full bar at our office and a full gym. We just don't recommend they do both at the same time. Um, but it's been a, you know, a great team. Second lesson learned, trajectory is more important than velocity. And I think this is really important for anyone in here that's getting a startup going or is in early stage growth. Don't compare yourself to the startup Joneses. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. Stick to your core principles. Our core principle at LifeAid is always put the customer first and create more value than what we're charging. Always create value, always create value. And sticking to those principles, uh, last year when we finally got some private equity funding, we were on the right trajectory and what it did is it really helped us take off. We've seen other companies in, in our industry that were on a bad trajectory, and when they got funding, it just caused them to crash and burn even quicker. This is also, uh, I think, very prevalent in our social media following. We're actually ranked one of the top 10 companies worldwide, as far as beverage companies are concerned, on social media. And when you think about all the big players like Coke, Pepsi, and Red Bull, and Monster, and all of this, being in that top 10 is pretty darn impressive. And the reason that we're in the top 10 is we always put out value-added content first. So we're putting out content on our social media channels that is relevant to our audience. Where most businesses totally screw this up is every picture they post on Instagram is pitch, 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 and it's not value-added content for what your audience wants to see. So anyone that's getting social media going, make sure you're putting yourself in your consumer's position and putting value-added content first. So my last call to action, since I'm getting timed out here. <laughs> We're a local company. We're employing local people. Please support our local retailers and uh, purchase our products. And we've got a free can for everybody on your way home tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions? We did get a cease and desist from Pepsi in the very early days for, uh, yeah, yeah, which we've, you know, and, and it's funny because these big conglomerates like a Coke and a Pepsi, even though we were in the right, we had the registered trademark for a product called Gamerade. They sent us a cease and desist and our attorney said, well, we can fight this and win, but it's going to cost you 200000 Well, when you only have 30000 in the bank account, it's hard to spend two hundred to to fight a thing like that, but yeah. It's always an issue. Anyone else? Yes, sir. What companies in the food world do you really admire? Like, who's your hero? A local guy, Peter Meehan, Newman's Own Organics. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite. Great guy, and uh, I think the product line is a reflection of his leadership. Anyone else? Ah. So, when you bought those um, silver, silver bullets, that's what they yeah, yeah. Bullets. Did you like print? Your own, your like the print on the can yourself, or what did you do? Yeah, so you can get a shrink sleeve printed, which is basically a plastic sleeve that goes over the top. Um, our cost of goods on that very first run was like three dollars and fifty cents a can, and we were selling them <laughs> wholesale for two dollars a can. <laughs> but it was still cheaper than buying two hundred and two thousand and and not having proof of concept. So we wanted to test them. Jason. Aaron, tell us about the growth of the team locally. Yeah, I mean, we're growing rapidly. We hired uh, eight new people in the last week. Um, you know, we're all about supporting local people and paying living wages and, and adding to our team. A lot of our growth now uh, is, is all over the country uh, on the sales side of things, but our core team here in Santa Cruz is probably, what, Andy, 25 now, 26, something like that, plus we have our wonderful brand reps and Life Aid Brigade that are all over the country, and we probably, how many do we have here, Claudia? Five or something? Five or six over? Yeah. Uh, good question. So each of the products, so what's not in it is probably just as important as what is in it. 
So none of our products contain any artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so no, no aspartame, no sucralose. There's no sodium in any of our drinks. A lot of these things are just salt water. Um, very low sugar, uh, sweetened with raw organic agave and stevia, 45 calories per can. What is in each one is they each have a very targeted supplement blend. So Focus Aid, for instance, has some natural caffeine with yerba mate and green tea, but it has a lot of nootropics, which are supplements for the brain, for focus, mental acuity, and memory. Fit Aid is our big recovery drink, huge in CrossFit, where the official recovery drink of the, the CrossFit Games. I know CrossFit spoke here, I think, last time. Um, Branched chain amino acids, glutamine, arginine, omega-3 fatty acids. We have Travel Aid for boosting your immune system. We're sold in several airports. Echinacea, zinc, vitamin C, uh, so on and so forth. So they each have different supplement blends to support the particular application. Uh, trial and a lot, trial and a lot of error. Yeah. I mean, the first, even Fit Aid, like I was so embarrassed to pour it for the first year, and we just kept going back, going back, and finally, you know, got it right. And I think, you know, anyone that's tasted our drinks, it, they they all taste really good. We're not flavor driven; we're function driven. So they each have a unique flavor profile to kind of mask those supplements, but they're all very clean. And I, I encourage you to check them out. All right. Thank you so much.